Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Pharmacy Tech Love. This is where you're learning everything that you need to know about how to be a pharmacy technician. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Pharmacy Tech Love. And if this is your first time here to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. Um, if you're completely new, my channel is primarily for individuals who are striving to be pharmacy technicians or even if you're already a certified pharmacy technician, I still give you tips on how to handle yourself in the workplace or just, just anything that you need to know about how to become a pharmacy technician or if you're already a pharmacy technician. Okay, so normally I do a question of the day. So the question of the day today is what sounds relaxed? you or, or what sounds relaxes you for me it's rain sounds um at night when i can't sleep um i'll usually just get on put my phone on youtube and i'll leave it open because you know if you close out youtube um it'll shut the video off but there are several apps that you can download to listen to thunderstorms rain sounds ocean waves uh, just any any type of water type um sounds that's what really helps me to relax so I just wanted to say that. Okay, so today we are going over Fahrenheit to Celsius. This is a very easy formula, but as you know, you do have to remember the formula. That's, that's the most important thing with a lot of pharmacy math is that they have formulas. And if you don't know the formula, there's no way that you can work out the problem, okay? So whenever we start working on this problem, uh, make sure that you write the formula down and that you have it somewhere in your notes when you are getting ready to take your PTCB exam. Of course, you know that you can take your notes in the PTCB exam, but just add this to your notes if you don't already have it because I feel like this is something that you are going to need to know. If you're having a hard time figuring out exactly where to go in order to become certified, you can check out my webpage. I will have it either in the comments or it'll be in the description. And um, I'm, I partnered up with a company named Pharmacy Tech Lessons. And it's a young lady named Onisha Biggs. She has a wonderful program and she does have a guaranteed pass rate of 60 days. This is all online. I'll leave everything in the comments or the description and I'll also leave my 5% off discount code. So take advantage of that. Stop thinking about it. You've been watching my videos and you're like, I, I know I need to do this. I know I need to do this. I, I made a video um, about 10 pharmacy jobs and um, I'll try to put the I card up here for you so you can click on that. There are plenty of jobs out here, you guys. I'm also gonna make another video about where you can find more jobs on how to become a pharmacy tech, um, excuse me, on uh, where to work um, being a pharmacy technician. So. These jobs are out here. If you want a career, let's get started. All right, so let's work on Fahrenheit to Celsius. Okay, so we are trying to change Fahrenheit to Celsius. This is going to be your formula, okay? So here's another formula that you are going to have to add to your memory bank, okay? So this is going, this formula for changing Fahrenheit to Celsius is going to be degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 1.8, and that is going to give you Celsius, okay? So I'm actually gonna write a, a few problems down, and we're gonna work these out together, okay? So let's try to work out 96 degrees Fahrenheit and we are going to change that to Celsius, okay? All right, and we, like I said, we are using this formula right here, okay? All right, so basically what we're doing is we're going to plug in our 96 degrees because this is our Fahrenheit, okay? So we're gonna plug in that 96 degrees Fahrenheit right here, plugging it in, minus 32, we're just following the formula, divided by 1.8, okay? All we did was plug that 97 degrees Fahrenheit in 
right where the Fahrenheit symbol is. That's all we did. Simple as that. Okay. Now we need to work it out. So we have we have 96 minus 32, which is 64. I'm just going to go ahead and put 64 right here. That's 64. We're going to bring this over because we need to divide that number by 1.8. Okay. So now in your calculator, put 64 divided by 1.8. That is going to give us 35. 0.5 degrees Celsius. Okay? Let's work out a couple more. Let's work out a few more, okay? I got a couple of examples written down. So we're going to work out as many as we need to in order for you to get this down, okay? Um, I don't know why I wrote 96 and 96. Okay, let's skip around. I don't know why I wrote that. Okay, so we'll say that we have 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and we are trying to get that to Celsius. So we're going to plug in that 100 degrees Fahrenheit right there. So it's going to be 100 minus 32 divided by 1.8. Okay, so this time what we're going to do is we're just going to put in our calculator without writing all that extra mumbo jumbo. We're not going to do all that, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to put 100 minus 32 in our calculator. We're not going to hit equal. We're not going to hit any of that. 100 minus 32 in our calculator. We're going to go straight into our division key divided by 1.8. That is going to give us 37.7 degrees Celsius. Okay. The only thing that we did was we was we put 100 into our calculator minus 32. Hit your division key divided by 1.8. That's going to give us 37.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Simple as that. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on. I'm not going to edit anything out on this video this time. Okay. All right. Okay. So. Let's, let's try 102.2, 102.2 degrees Fahrenheit. We need to change that to Celsius, okay? So according to our formula, we're going to write 102.2 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll go ahead and write that down. Minus 32 divided by what? Divided by 1.8, correct, correct, correct. So in my calculator, I'm going to put 102.2 minus 32. I'm not going to hit enter. Excuse me, I'm not going to hit equal. I always say enter. I'm, I, I guess because I work on computers too much. Okay, so in our calculator, we're going to put 102.2 minus 32. Go straight into your division key. Divided by, okay? With that being divided by your calculator, you should have 70.2, okay? Now, you already hit your division key, divided by 1.8. That is going to give you 39 degrees Celsius. Everybody coming along okay? Are you getting these answers? Okay, I'm going to put one up here for you. Now, I want you to try to work this one out on your own, okay? That's what I need you to do, okay? So we'll say we have 103.1 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to give you a moment to work that out. Just a moment. And then we're going to work on some word problems. Okay? I want you to go ahead and hopefully you have your formula written down on a separate sheet of paper or on the same sheet of paper. It's fine. Okay? And plug in your 103.1 degrees Fahrenheit. I need you to do that for me, please. Do the subtraction and do the multiplication. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start it. We have 103.1 degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 1.8. Okay. I'm going to put that in my calculator. 103.1 
minus 32 go straight into my division key divided by 1.8 that's going to give us 39.5 degrees Celsius I almost put Fahrenheit 39.5 degrees Celsius okay now let's try to work out a word problem okay I have three word problems for you and it's pretty much just the same exact way it just depends on what the Fahrenheit is okay okay the question says if you use a thermometer for cooked chicken and it read 165 degrees Fahrenheit what is the temperature in Celsius okay pretty much what we've been working out but now it's just in a word problem form okay so we're still going to take our 100 or our degrees Fahrenheit which is 165 degrees Fahrenheit and we are going to change that to degrees Celsius okay I'm hoping you can see all this down here so we have 165 minus 32 same thing divided by 1.8 same exact thing it's just a word problem now okay so we have 165 minus 32 divided by 1.8 that's going to give us 73.8 degrees Celsius that's it that's your word problem let's work out two more word problems okay Okay, the temperature outside is 95 degrees Fahrenheit. What would the reading be for Celsius? If we want to change the Fahrenheit to Celsius, okay? Because that's what we're doing, Fahrenheit to Celsius. Okay, so we have 95 degrees Fahrenheit and we are needing to change that to Celsius, oh Celsius. Okay, so we have 95 minus 32 divided by 1.8. I need you to put that in your calculator, please, and see if we come up with the same answer together. So we have 95 minus 32 divided by 1.8. I'm gonna give you guys just a moment before I write the answer down, okay? Give you guys just a moment, just a moment. I want you to give yourself a pat on the back if you get this correct. Give yourself a pat on the back, okay? It's going to be 35 degrees Celsius. Good job if you got that correct, okay? I got one more written down that I want to give to you, okay? One more, and then we'll be done with Fahrenheit to Celsius, okay? Okay, my poodle is sick and has a temperature of 101 degrees Fahrenheit. What is his temperature in Celsius? Okay, that's what we're trying to find out. Okay, so we have a temperature of 101 degrees Fahrenheit and we are trying to change this to degrees Celsius, okay? Remember to use your formula. I want you to go ahead and work ahead of me. I'm gonna give you just a few minutes to work ahead of me. Ooh, these lights are so bright. Woo. I kind of got a headache this evening, y'all. I don't know what's going on. 
I'm probably hungry. I really want to go to McDonald's, but mm, not so healthy. Okay, but it is tasty. Okay, so anyway, we have 101 degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 1.8. Hopefully you guys went ahead and worked ahead of me. So I have 101 minus 32 divided by 1.8 is 38.3 38.3 degrees celsius that is actually all i have for you this evening please make sure you're studying for your ptcb exam like i said if you really want to sign up for, for the program that um that i promote just let me know uh email me reach out and let me know that you really want to sign up other than that you guys have a wonderful evening and I will see you next time.